what I'm working on here is I want him to realize that I have this tool in my hand, my flag, and sometimes I need him to pay attention to the flag because I'm using it to communicate. And sometimes it's just something that's out there in the universe. You can see he is kind of bothered when I go to move in this flag, he gets busy with his feet. He thinks he needs to, to move. I didn't mean for him to move because I didn't, for example, put my hand out to this side and say, hey, I'd like for you to take yourself out here to my left. He doesn't go. I support with a flag. So that time, the flag was a support to my direction. But now, I might just go to moving the flag and say, he goes, oh gosh, I think I need to go somewhere. Now he's going backwards. I don't want that either. So I'll just keep stimulating with the flag and just kind of hold a steady feel on the rope here and wait for him to do something towards getting off of this pressure. There he goes. So he gives, I give, and I stop moving the flag. Now I'll take it away. Now I'll start again. Oh, that was pretty good. So instead of keeping going until he makes a mistake, I stopped moving the flag to let him know that's what I, what I needed him to do. Now maybe I'll go back to using it as a tool. I'll say, I need you to go over there. Use it as a, come on, a little more energy. So I used it as a support to my direction. Now ask him to untrack and stop. Say, that's a good boy. And then I might get kind of busy with the flag again. And I'm supporting him to stop moving. Now I'd like him to come forward. I'm just gonna move for you guys. There he came forward. So I release and I stop moving the flag. Because it's important for him to separate random movement in the environment, which right now is my flag, with me directing him and then using this as a support. It would be the same thing with my lead rope. I might need to just throw this lead rope around and say that doesn't mean anything. But I could use this as a support. I could say I need you to go and if he doesn't go, I can support with that. Come on, a little more energy. There we go. All right, so that's a really important thing for these horses is to be able to separate your you and your tools and when you're asking them to do something and when you're not. Of course, you have to be clear when you're asking them to do something and when you're not.